Welcome to the Sneeboard course, Encodable Basics. Here, you'll learn about conditional statements, also called conditions. When you're in Festopia, click on Mission Control. Then, select the galaxy map and fly over to Smeeborg. Smeeborg is a planet filled with grass, trees, and some pretty happy garden gnomes. In this course, you'll still practice sequence, but also be introduced to a new coding concept called conditions. This means when you place your arrows, you'll write computer code using colorful squares to tell your fuzz, if you hit this block, then change direction. This is often called an if-then statement. Here, we'll need the fuzz to roll right, and when it reaches the pink square, we want it to go down, so it can reach the stars. I'll place my right arrow first, then I'll drag and drop the pink square, and for the next step, I'll place the down arrow on top of it, so that the code is telling the fuzz to go down when it reaches the pink square. We've just used a condition. Without this code, the fuzz would have continued to roll too far. This fuzz goes right past where we want it to turn, but if we drag and drop in our purple square, the fuzz will know if it reaches that square, then go left. Each mission will hold new challenges to help you practice this coding concept. Some mazes will need more than one conditional statement, be filled with many different color conditions, or have extra tricky mazes to figure out. Once you've earned your conditions badge, click on your name to see all of the badges you've earned in Codable, including Creator and Bug World. You can click on a badge for more information too. Want more practice with conditions? Head to Maze Maker to create your own mazes and add in as many conditional statements as you'd like. If you learn conditions, then you'll have fun. Happy coding!